Well, there's been various reports on what landed here. According to the military, you know, nothing happened. Something did happen here in Kecksburg. What it is, we still don't know. I don't know that we'll ever know. I'm Ron Stribble, Chairman and President of the UFO Festival Committee here at Kecksburg Volunteer Fire Department. The uh, UFO incident happened December 9, 1965. The wife and I heard on the news and seen a streak in the sky of an object coming down in Kecksburg, according to reports from uh, TV and radio. So we come to Kecksburg to see the incident. And of course they had roadblocks set up and they wouldn't let us down into where the incident happened. So I can tell you for sure that something did happen. There was something fall in the, fell in the hollow and uh, you know, we just happened to be in the right area at the right time. Well, some of the theories, it goes from anywhere from UFO to an object that, that we put up or Russians put up. So right now it's, it's unsolved. That's part of the, the fun of it. And that's part of the, uh, the reason that people come here to buy our shirts. We uh, hooked up with XL Sportswear, a guy by the name of Al Bishop and him and I design each year a new design for the shirts for that coming year. The original design was the, the object, we call it an acorn, flying overhead into a wooded area. We've now come up with designs where the, the acorns over the truck shed. We have uh, had uh, the acorn on a flatbed truck going out of town. We've had men in black because the story goes that men in black chased everybody away, okay? I skipped one year and did not uh, have a new design and the customers did not like that. They want a new design every year. So this year will be our 14th year. Again, I have a new design for a shirt coming up. This is an exclusive look at the premier design of the Kecksburg shirt for the Kecksburg UFO Festival of 2019, July 26th, 27th, 28th. We wanted the acorn in the ground with uh, people taking pictures of it. Everything that's in this store that we sell goes back to the fire department. Every penny that we make here, which is totally volunteer, goes back to the fire department. So we appreciate the, the business of, of people coming to our store and uh, supporting us and if it wasn't for the customers and the customer base that we have all over the state coming to our little town you know we wouldn't have what we have so we, we really appreciate the business of our customers. <laughs>